I want you to stop what you're doing and name me two Merseyside-based football clubs. I bet you all said Liverpool and Everton, didn't you? But there's one you've missed out. There's already quite a lot going on outside of Prenton Park, the home of Tranmere Rovers at the moment, who are playing Newcastle today. Are we going to see a shock or are we going to see Newcastle um, actually have a good cup run and try and go for a trophy this season? But what I love to see around Tranmere and their stadium is the amount of murals. Oh, obviously, there's loads for Liverpool and Everton, I suppose, around the city and stuff. But look, there's a statue that I would have probably just shown you in the montage, which is over there. That is of um, Johnny King who took the club to Wembley five times during his two spells at the club. And we also have this mural here of Ray Mathi Mathias, uh, Mathias um, who was, look, he played here and was manager as well. And Ian Muir must be, uh, must be the two players as mentioned on that plaque. How was the season going? It's all right, not we got, too bad. not too bad. We got beat a couple of times. But... In League Two, though, right? Yeah. And is there any Newcastle players you're looking forward to seeing play here today? Kieran Trippier. Yeah. Trippier. Let's hope he plays. Yeah. Let's hope a few of the bigger names play. And what do you think the score will be? Are you confident? Three, three, one. Three, one to yeah, Newcastle. To Newcastle. Oh god. Four, one. Good score, Fair enough. Four, yeah. one, Newcastle. Four, one, Newcastle. Are you going to say a Tranmere win? And um, four, one. And obviously there's a legend who's uh, played here at the club and there's a plaque just behind me there on the wall of the stadium about Dixie Dean. Of course I made a Sligo Rovers video, I've made Everton videos before where I've obviously mentioned Dixie Dean and now to complete the Dixie Dean set I'm here at uh, Tranmere Rovers. The season's going all right, okay up to yeah, now, yeah, right? yeah. it's going all right. Uh. Do you think there'll be a few youngsters playing, will any of the bigger names start do you think? I think it'll be a mixture of kids and, and senior players, I think it, I think Howell mix it up. Yeah. I'm sure there's a feeling... Callum, Callum Wilson won't be playing because his hamstring's gone. Yeah, you can't play him too often, I suppose. But is there a feeling with the fans that you have to go for a trophy at some point? Well, I think they should go all out to win this cup because yeah. they're not going to win the league for a few years. They're not yeah. going to win it this season. Of course. Probably not next. Maybe the season after, man. Yeah. But it'll be a few years before they win the title. So that I think they should be go going all out to win these sort of cups. That's, that, that's what I would do. You two are Tranmere fans, yeah. pretty much, and you're a Burnley fan, right? Um, and score predictions for tonight. You confident Tranmere can get anything from the game? No. 3-1 Newcastle. 3-1 Newcastle. 3-1 uh, Newcastle, yeah. Okay. 4-1 Newcastle. You're all local, but are you Tranmere fans? Liverpool. Liverpool. Oh, Liverpool. And Liverpool. Liverpool as well. And so, do you know much about Tranmere? How are they getting on this season? Yeah. 17th in League 2. So. Yeah, they're not, they're not the strongest, but, you know, they can have a cup shot. It can happen. Yeah, it can and happen. That's what we want to see tonight. Is there any Newcastle players that you're looking forward to seeing play here? Yeah. St. Maximin, yeah. St. Maximin at Prenton Park would be pretty impressive, yeah. Good boss, yeah. Yeah. Botman, yeah. Botman, Botman, you're saying. And what do you think the score's going to be today? 4-1 Newcastle. 4-1 Newcastle. Yeah, I'm saying 3-0 Newcastle. You gotta say Tramia. I'm shot. back in Tramia. Yes, I I'm like saying it. One nil, Tramia. One nil, mate. Nice, I like it. Josh. And Luke. right, great to meet you, lads. As I can see, big Newcastle fans. Yeah. How exciting is it being a Newcastle fan right now? Very exciting yeah. after uh, owners came in and yep. Eddie Howe. He's done a lot to the team. And are you excited to see Newcastle play here at like a smaller um, club today? Yeah, yeah, I like going to smaller grounds. Yeah. Um, we went to Blythe. Yeah. Um, different stadiums like that. Yeah, yep. cool. Nice, mate. Nice. I like it. And score prediction for today. What are you saying? 3-1 to Newcastle. 3-1 and... I think 4-1. My name's Mark. I'm a Tramia fan. Obviously, I met you at Kelty Hearts last, yep. last season and I just missed you at Lisbon, obviously, at the uh, the sporting game. Uh, but yeah, Tramia season ticket holder and uh, another traveller that 
Like of course, you, say, you, you love the ground hopping, don't you? And like you say, we met at Kelty Cowden Beef last season and here at Tranmere Newcastle today. You were just telling me an interesting story about the badge. This is one of the older kits. Yeah, basically, um, this was the old badge and they, they changed it uh, probably a decade ago or so, or so. But then obviously they've gone back to, to, to the old one. Obviously the new one wasn't quite as, as popular. Yeah. So yeah, I think by uh, popular it went back. The old badge is back. It's my first time at Tram here today. Right. How should the atmosphere be today? Yeah, it's think? absolutely brilliant. Obviously, yeah. it should be a good crowd as well, yeah. Especially for today as well. Yeah, should very be good. good. Playing Newcastle. Any Newcastle yeah. players you're looking forward to seeing? Um, I'll say Maximin if he plays, but I don't know if he'll play. And score prediction? Uh, I'm going to go for 3 1 Newcastle. Hopefully, get a goal. Mate, you got to say Tranmere. Yeah. You've got to go for a Tranmere win. Okay. There's the Geordies over there and the rest of the, all these Tranmere fans. These two are Geordies, as are the two people sat next to me as well, funnily enough. But I think there's a lot of uh, Geordies in the home end as well. But look at that huge stand there, the uh, the Tranmere pop right there. I think maybe probably 11,000, 12,000 here today, but look at that, the Geordies in the away end. Let's hope for a good game. I'm here for normal half of football so far. Tranmere 1, Newcastle 1. See you in the second half. <laughs> 2 1 to the Geordies. Five, six minutes into the second half. And it is Chris Wood with the goal. The Kiwi and it's Trippier's ball in. The sub. He came on for Kraft in the first half due to some injury. And uh, he's really changed the game. Honestly, Tramway were the better team until Trippier came on, but there we go. Newcastle are ahead now. They've survived a bit of a scare unless Tramway can come back. But look at this, the Tramway fans really get 
get by their team. Super impressed by their support. On comes Joel Linton. I think Botman might just be getting ready to come on as well. So Newcastle is still 2-1 up. They're about 20 minutes to go here and uh, bring on a few big names. But look at that, the fans making such noise here. No episode of R. Kelty winning today because they won yesterday. But are Rangers winning? The answer is yes. You've got to look at that. Rangers 1-0 up in Eindhoven. has got to be up there as one of my favourite EFL grounds to go to now. I've got a few like personal favourites. Um, Middlesbrough, Sunderland, Newcastle, um, Blackpool. I've seen some really, really good games at those grounds and Tranmere is up there with the best of them in terms of like atmosphere and just feeling when you're there. A huge thank you to all the people who came up and said hello and wanted to be on the videos and just who didn't want to be on the video but wanted to chat as well. Um, yeah, massive, massive thank you. I had a fantastic time at Tranmere today. I've had requests to go there for years and I've finally come. I can see why you want me to come so much. It was brilliant. Um, on Newcastle, um, they survived a scare, didn't they? They went 1-0 down. Um, they weren't convincing in the first 30 minutes. Tranmere played really, really well. Um, but eventually the quality in the end saw off Tranmere. Um, they did have a few chances towards the end there, but I feel like going into later rounds of the competition, Newcastle are going to have to start playing like stronger teams because, um, yeah, they could have easily have drawn and lost on penalties today or completely lost in the 90s. So, um, yeah, Newcastle, if you're going to want to win a trophy, you've got to start putting stronger teams out in these competitions. Um, maybe a couple more signings are on their way. So, yeah, let me know what you thought of the game if you watched it or of the vlog um, drop a comment in the comment section below um, please do subscribe to the clips channel as well I'd really really appreciate it. if we could get that up to a thousand subs over the next week or so that'd be fantastic please hit that like button I'll leave some videos on screen if you could click on to carry on watching that'd be amazing thanks again did I even say thanks yet I don't know if I did I'm so tired see you later